Hey everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. This is Amit and in this video, we are going to talk about what is account team in Salesforce and why we use account teams. Account teams is a simply a group of users who wanted to work together on a particular account and they also wanted to access to the related objects like opportunities, contacts or cases. Account team can never be owner of any Salesforce account record. That means the owner of account record will always be either a user or a public queue. And then account owner or a Salesforce admin must need to access the account members what kind of what kind of access they can have on the related objects. Related objects are like opportunities, contacts or cases. So for example, a user who is the owner of account wanted to add another user as an account team member, then they must need to provide what is the access level for the related objects. Account team members who are nothing were the users will still be needing the access to the object label to view and edit the records. If they don't have access to that object, they will not be able to visit that particular record and they will not be able to work on that record. Now let's quickly see when to use account teams. Account teams as we discussed whenever one or more user wanted to work on the same accounts, wanted to work on the cases, their related contacts and opportunities, then we can use account teams instead of going to the sharing, sharing rules that we have discussed in previous lectures. Or if the organization is approaching your criteria based sharing rule limit which is 50 per object, if that is the case, then you can also prefer to going account teams instead of writing the code for sharing the records. And still, the user needs to manually grant the access. That means the owner needs to manually add, it, add the account team under that particular account manually, similar to the manual sharing in Salesforce Classic. So earlier, this the concept of teams was uh, there to overcome the problem of manual sharing in the Salesforce Lightning. But Salesforce is now rolling out the manual sharing for the Salesforce Lightning as well into the coming release, which is going to be summer 21. Now let's quickly see how we are going to implement that. First step, we are going to enable account teams. We will verify some team roles, which are already there. If you want to add additional roles, you can also add. And then we are going to add account teams into the account page layout and then we are going to perform some testing. Before we go ahead, again, account team is going to use to give the additional access label for a particular account and its related objects, which are accounts, which are opportunities, cases, and contacts. So I'm logged in here into my one Salesforce org as a different user, and there is another browser where I'm logged in as a different user, which is John Smith. So what we will do is, because this is the user who is a Salesforce admin, I'm going to log in here. The very first step is to enable the teams. So what we will do is in the quick search box, we will search for teams and then under the feature settings, find this account teams and click on that link. This link is going to open a interface where it will ask you to enable the teams. And once you will enable the teams, it will also ask you additional steps that we need to follow. So here you can see the link which is saying that enable account teams. If I zoom it out, you can see it is asking us enable account teams. You just need to click on that link and it will take you to the different screen. Here it is asking us a checkbox which is saying that enable account teams. Let's quickly enable this and save this. And uh, now we have saved this. It is going to ask in which account layout we wanted to add this as a related list. So let's quickly add that related list under all the account layouts which are available for us. Also check this checkbox if you want to and then click on save. So now we have enabled the account teams and now you can see we have got team roles. We have got replace team roles and then disable account teams. So if you click on this team roles, it is going to show you all the roles. What are the team roles? Like you have account manager, channel manager, you have lead qualifier. You can also say that support representative, sales representatives, and you can also add more. If you want to add, like you wanted to add more account team and say here, you wanted to say that support rep who is going to work on the related cases for that particular account record. You can just go ahead and then save it. 
so that's how you can add your account team roles over here on top of the pre-existing account account team roles which are already there once you have enabled next thing that we need to do is we need to check the sharing settings of our account object so for this demo we are going to use private sharing settings for up for all the objects accounts and contacts then opportunity and then cases if you have something else rather than private just go ahead and edit this and what you need to do is from the drop down you just need to select private and it will ask some pop up just click on ok and it is always going it is going to automatically set the OWD for opportunity cases and contact as a private once we are done with this what next we need to do is as we are ready to test ready to perform the testing first thing we will do is we are here with a different user i'm going to show you that this user is not able to access any opportunities neither accounts over here so far this user is not able to access anything what we will do is i, I will also show you that on the account records there is no sharing rules which is running behind the scene so you can see that there is no sharing rules on account and you can also see that there is no sharing rule on the opportunities and cases and contacts so that you can be sure that our account teams is working fine now once you need to go to account record go to your account record and uh, i'm going to you can see this is the account record which is a service panther just i'm opening that account record under the related section you will see if you scroll down you will see there is one link which is saying that account team this is what our uh, target object which we are going to work on we will talk about default teams but as of now we will talk about add team members as soon as it is going to open here so for the user i'm going to select john smith this is the user we have and then remove the rest of two lines we don't need team role we are going to select as suppose that account manager account access is read only cases are private or if you wanted to say that read only and you can also say that read only that means if you only wanted to give the access to accounts you can say cases cases are private if you wanted to give the read only to all three objects you can say that these are objects which you have and then you can just say that click on save now you have added one record as account team member which is john smith and the role is account manager let's get back to our salesforce the second salesforce instance refresh this all accounts and we can see that we have got sfdc panther and then this is the read only access to that account record even if we see that there is uh, we don't see that edit button over here and in the related section we can see there is one contact which is automatically coming here we have opportunities then we have account team because we have access to but we cannot add or edit then we have cases as well now we don't see any cases and opportunities related to that account if you want to verify that we don't have any and you can quickly go ahead and create a new case over here so i will quickly just uh, create a case with some random values and for the subject i will say account team share and that's what my description is going to and save it there is some error case currency we need to select so i have created one case over here again i'll go to this account and then we'll refresh this page to see that we have got that case or not and that is how your account team works and you can quickly share your record with that particular user which you want now the regions we have already discussed and there might be some other regions as well like uh, you wanted to go to on on a holiday and you want your colleagues to be work on that account and their related records you can add your colleagues as a account team member and then once you come back from your holiday you can just delete that account team member so that your colleague will not be able to your colleague will not be able to uh, work on that record anymore now here under the cases if you see here you have got uh, account team share this is the subject and if you open this case you will be able to see that case as well and if you go to the cases again you will not be able to see that uh, there are too many records because uh, if you go to all close cases you don't see any if you go to 
all open cases you will see only one which is we have just created and if you go here my cases so that is how your account team member works and then you can do and if you create one account record from here the admin is going to have the access to because admin is uh, admin always have access to all the records so that is how your account team member works in salesforce now let's quickly talk about default account team default account team is like you have some predefined set of users who are always going to work on all the accounts or who always needs the access to all the accounts then we usually do is we define a default account teams and then under the account we add those default account teams so that we don't need to go ahead and again search for all those users again and again for each and every account and a user can only have one default account team that means uh, the user can only be part of one account default team and then using account default, default team is again optional if you your organization use case doesn't fit you don't need to worry about this default account teams now let's quickly get back to our salesforce org and we will search again for the teams and then we have got uh, or I just switch the search for default and we okay we need to go to account uh, we are here under the account teams i believe we need to search for that yes go to account teams and then under teams we have team roles disable teams okay so we are here i'm sorry to uh, for that we need to go to account and then from that uh, your user icon which you have then go to settings and then under the settings you just need to go to advanced user details because we need to add default team for us we cannot add default team at organization level and then scroll down to the bottom here you will see that you have got teams uh, which user you have added as a team and then you have got default account team click on add over here and then you can just select which user you wanted to as a uh, add as a default account team so i have got john smith and then i can also add one more which is uh, security control so we have two users i'm just saying that read only and for the opportunity i'm saying as private and for the cases i'm saying as read only and team role is going to account manager and then i can say executive manager okay so these are the two users i have added and for the john smith the opportunity access is private and then click on save so there is one there were two more checkboxes uh, next to the same so what we will do is once you go to add here you will see that automatically add my default teams to the account that i create here you can see automatically add my default account team to the uh, to the accounts that i create or accounts that are transferred to me that means if you have if you are creating an account record you want them to be added as a default account team you can check this checkbox and you can say that update account teams with these members okay so you can select here let me quickly get back once to the advanced user detail i will quickly delete those these two members and then once we'll add that account team again so let's quickly do that quick uh, once in a quick way Yeah, so we are done here on that. So what we'll do is we need to go to default account teams and this time we are going to select these two checkboxes and then select the users over here. One is John Smith. Security control. So this is going to private read only and then read write. It should be executive responsive account manager and then it should be read only for john smith it is re, uh, private and then click on save now you have got this accounts okay i am i have set up an account team for me which is a default now what i can do is if i go here and then go to the accounts try to create a new account i will say let's quickly say here as a I, we will say salesforce.com and rating is hot 
parent account i can say there is no parent account and then there is one which is already required selected and then click on save so now we will get back to our uh, account related record scroll down to the account teams we should be able to see those two members which are added as account team over here by default we don't need to do anything now again if we get back to the user which is uh, john and if you click on accounts and we have got this all accounts now we can see all accounts over here and the reason is we have added that this user as a default account teams for all the accounts which i do own so if we go to accounts and then open any account record over here and then go to the uh, go to this uh, what we'll say you can see go to account teams we'll be able to see that the users are added under the account teams and then this is doing in a very quick manner and if you go to here on this account which is uh, and if we scroll down we have got uh, everything other related objects every single related objects we got to see here we don't see any opportunities but we see cases account teams partners and if you go to this account we have one opportunities uh, which is again let's quickly copy the id so that we can be sure that we are on the same page and i will let you know why we are not able to see the opportunity for this particular account or even for any of the accounts no matter if they have opportunities or not so scroll down to the related list we don't see any opportunity over here again but there is one so if you notice over here on the account default team what we have set as uh, in this space we have said that opportunity for john smith user is private that means i can only see i can only access those opportunities but the rest of other objects like cases and opportunities can be accessed by this user which is john smith so that's how your account team member work and before we go ahead there is one more thing which i would like to show you is as soon as you enable an account team what it does is there is a one object which is called account team members gets uh, get available for us and we can work on this we can also create a few fields over here you can create some triggers validation rules so yep this is the new object that you uh, get once you enable account teams so this is it for this video and uh, hope you have liked, uh, liked this video please do like share subscribe the channel so that you get all the updates from our channel thank you